So this is not how you match a sweater with jeans. No! Neither is this look, but maybe the guy here is making a statement, like I have no style. No, God, please, no! And this sweater and jean combination, guys, this is an abomination. Just looking at this hurts my eyes. My eyes! And gents, you live in a free country. You can wear whatever you want. That being said, if you're watching this video, you probably want to look the best you can with what you got, right? So having established that, the first rule to looking good in jeans and a sweater is to nail the proportions. What I mean by this is you want to have balance in the outfit. As an example, you don't want to be wearing a bulky sweater with skinny jeans. First up, skinny jeans probably don't look good on most of you, but if they do, because let's say you're a skinnier guy, the thing with that bulky sweater is the proportions are going to be off. Now, proportion is nothing more than a tool that our brain uses whenever it's trying to make sense of the world. Usually, we've got a sense of proportions that we've built up over time. It allows us to quickly interpret things. But here's the thing. When you wear an outfit, the proportions are off. Unless you're wanting to give someone a jarring experience or you really want to grab attention, for a lot of people, that proportion being off is going to really turn them off to the outfit. They're going to look at it and say, hmm, something's not right with this outfit, even if they can't articulate it. Rule number two, nail the fit. Now, if you've watched a few of my videos, you've probably heard me say, fit is king. And with a sweater and jeans, it's 100% the truth because you can buy expensive jeans, you can buy a $500 sweater. But if it doesn't fit you properly, guys, it's not going to look good. Another thing with knitwear, it's a lot harder to adjust. Yes, it can be done, but you got to go to a specialist and it's better just to simply make sure you buy the right sweater off the rack. Even a $30 sweater made from a synthetic material that actually fits you properly is probably going to look better than a very expensive sweater that's too Two sizes too big. Yeah, you got it on sale at 80% off, but if it doesn't fit you properly, it's never going to look right. Next up, let's talk about accessories. They can make or break the outfit, so you want to get these right. Now, because you're wearing jeans, the outfit is always going to be casual, but is it ultra casual or is it a little bit more dressed up casual? That is going to determine where you want to go with the footwear. These boots are going to be more casual, so if I'm wearing a casual sweater with jeans, these are the type of shoes I want to pull. But let's say I'm dressing up the outfit. I got a really nice, more dressy sweater and I want to have fun with my footwear, these boots would be awesome. Now, of course, you don't have to go with boots. There are other options. Yes, you can wear dress shoes with jeans and a sweater or you can even bring it down to sneakers. The one place I would say you don't want to go is trying to pair that combination with running shoes. Guys, save these for the gym. No, make sure you get, get some nice shoes. And if it's cold outside, don't be afraid to have fun with the headwear. You could simply go with a beanie, all different styles out there. I like a really nice ribbed beanie with the sweater, but it really depends on the style of the sweater. You can even bring in a flat cap. These right here, a lot of style. In any case, find a style of headwear that works for you that you feel confident wearing with the outfit. And now let's talk about an accessory that's not necessarily seen in this outfit, but brings it all together. Guys, I'm talking about the belt. And if you're in the market, for a belt, you need to check out today's sponsor, Anson Belt and Buckle. Now, gents, for coming in on a decade, I've been talking about Anson Belt and Buckle because I love what these guys do. Seriously, go back to one of my first videos here at Roman Real Style. It was me doing a review of Anson Belt and Buckle. The truth is, gents, for years, I've been a fan of this family-run business because, first up, they've got an innovative system. If you haven't seen their micro-adjust system, these are holeless belts. Because let's face it, these belts really don't last that long and they never look good once they start to warp and they get that crease in them. But with Anson Belt and Buckle's micro-adjust system, Guys, you can adjust the belt to a quarter of an inch. And tied with that, they're easy to fit because when you go on their website, you don't have to choose, hey, I, I want a 32 inch belt, I want a 34 inch belt. No, they actually send you a really long strap that's over 50 inches. You cut the belt, adjust it to fit, and it's a really simple system to be able to put these together. And that's the other thing I love about Anson Belt and Buckle is their belt system because all the belt buckles work with all the straps. And the best deal, by the way, is their box combination where you can choose either three straps and two two buckles or three buckles and two straps. Six belt combinations, all for under a hundred bucks. And if you want to save money, gents, make sure to sign up for their email list. Occasionally, they got flash sales up to 20% off on their email list and on their text club up to 30% off on occasion. That being said, if you're looking to get started, guys, I recommend that box set. Again, go with two buckles, three straps. I think that's the perfect combination right there. You're going to get six different belt options. Guys, to take advantage of that deal down in the description of today's video, I've got the best deal on the web for you. Use that link, go over to Anson Belt and Buckle and take advantage of this deal.
The next rule to wearing sweaters with jeans is to wear the right type of jeans. So first up, there are going to be ultra casual styles out there. These are going to be light colored. They're going to be stonewashed. They're going to be distressed. Maybe they're going to have holes in them. In general, those are going to be much harder to wear with a sweater. Can it be done? Yes, but it's going to be a much more fashion forward look and in general is harder to pull off. So I'm not going to recommend it for guys just starting off. Instead, I'm going to say go towards dark, solid colored jeans in neutral palettes. We're talking grays, dark blues, all variations of indigo. Don't go for anything that's too bright a blue. Instead, black would be a good option. You want jeans that aren't really going to grab attention, are going to be more of a supporting character. Next up, let's talk about your body type. For most men, especially if you've got a thin build, if you have a regular, just classic build, then you're going to want to go for jeans that either have a slim cut or have a regular cut. Now, I'm not saying you can't pull off loose jeans, but in general, they're not going to look best with most sweaters. You're not going to have as many options. And skinny jeans, unless you are a skinny individual, are probably not going to work for you. In addition, I think skinny jeans finally are going out of style. Now, if you've got a muscular build, I do think that a more relaxed fit on the jeans is going to be fine because your sweater is going to be larger, especially if you've got really wide shoulders, if you've got a larger chest, then yeah, you want to go for a balancing act here. So maybe a little bit more relaxed on the jeans is going to be fine. Now, what if you're a bigger guy? You're a little bit heavy set. You got an extra 50 pounds around the waist. I'm not going to say that every sweater and jean combination is going to look good for you. In fact, you want to be careful with this combination because you need more support support in the shoulders and jeans in general are not going to be the most flattering trousers. But you probably have a few pair of jeans that you absolutely love the fit on. You know they look good on you. So stick with that style. But again, go with darker palettes and you're going to want to make sure that you're wearing a sweater that's going to complement you. Which takes us to our next section, all the different sweater styles. So there are a ton of different sweater styles out there, but let's break these up first into two categories. We have the heavyweight and the lightweight. Heavyweight in general are going to be more casual. They're going to be made from a thicker yarn. They're going to have a looser weave. The lightweight, these are going to be more delicate. They're made more for layering and these are going to be the dressier sweaters in general. Now, within those two categories, you're going to see a wide variety of neck styles. You're going to see the classic crew neck, you're going to see v-necks, you're going to see the casual roll neck, the elegant and incredibly versatile, in my opinion, turtleneck, the casual notch neck, and then the rarely seen but very dressy shawl neck. You're also going to see sweaters out there with a polo neck collar. Next up, let's talk about the different type of fasteners. So if a sweater isn't just a pullover sweater, which we're going to see with most crew necks, we're going to see that with v-necks, you're also going to see other styles out there that leverage zippers and buttons. Now, if the zipper or buttons just go down a bit in the front, like on this one right here, this is going to be known as a quarter zip. And if it had buttons, a quarter button. Now, if the zip went all the way down or the buttons went all the way down, this would be a full zip or a full button. So with all these different style options, we have a wide variety of sweaters out there. And depending on your body type, depending on the occasion, is how you're going to choose which style you want to go with. Now, the pullover sweaters, we're going to see this, the crew neck, the V-neck, and maybe sometime the notch neck. These are going to be ones that you want to layer, ones that you want to wear with other pieces, but you don't have to. These are going to be more, some of the more classic styles out there. And here is where you really want to make sure you nail the fit. Because they're made for layering, these are oftentimes going to be made from those lightweight materials materials, they're usually going to be dressier, especially the v-necks made to be worn with a collared shirt. You're also going to see the crew necks worn with a collared shirt, but these are going to be in solid colors made from a lightweight weave. And again, in general, these are going to be some of the dressiest sweaters you're going to see out there. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't have a dressy sweater that has a lot going on in the front, such as a classic cardigan or maybe even a sweater jacket. Sweater jackets, yes, can be worn in lieu of a sports jacket. They're not going to be as formal as a sports jacket, just a notch down below formality, but I think that they're a really nice look. Now, the turtleneck sweater can be really close in terms of formality. I think that you can pull this off with a casual suit, definitely a sports jacket, but if it's going to be a heavier, bulkier weave, then probably not something that you want to layer. You'd more, more want to wear it by itself. And in fact, if we look at the history of the turtleneck, you know, submariners, military would pull this stuff off. It really is a very functional piece. Again, the determining factor of the level of formality has a lot to do with the weave, with the thickness, and with the color and patterns present. Now, with the half zip, the quarter zip, 
those are going to be more casual. They're still pullovers, but because of the zipper especially is going to be more casual. I know it seems almost counterintuitive. You would think those large buttons would be more casual than a zipper, but they're not. In general, those buttons are going to have more of a history and a heritage to them. So, you will see if you had to choose one, you want something that's a little bit dressier, definitely go with a sweater with the quarter buttons. Now, what about the sweater vest? Is it actually a sweater? The answer is yes, it is. It is something a little bit tricky. I think it really looks best on a man that is in good shape, whose chest is larger than his waist area, but it is going to draw attention to the waist, especially if you're wearing it with a contrasting underpiece. But yeah, the sweater vest, you can still pull it off, you know, in the right situation. Now, with those heavier set sweaters, there's a wide variety of different types. You're going to see Aaron sweaters out there. These have a classic heritage over with Ireland. You're going to see the Fair Isle sweaters. They've got classic patterns, classic colors, just really nice combinations. But these are going to be made with a heavier virgin wool that's very thick and they are made in general to be worn almost as outerwear. And that takes us to sweater patterns, sweater colors. So, stripes going across. You want to be careful here. Again, I talked about bigger guys. You want to avoid this. It's just going to basically any type of horizontal line is going to draw the eyes back and forth. And that's not what we're looking for. We want the eyes to go up and down. So, in general, go for solids. That being said, if you're a heavier set guy, one of those thicker weaves I think can look really good on you. It's going to help to kind of camouflage, bring it all together. They're also going to be looser in general, which is going to work for your body build. So, a heavier weight turtleneck in general is going to look better than a tighter weave turtleneck. That being said, depending on where you carry your weight and where you're at, and again, how you wear this combination, I think a well-fitted turtleneck on a bigger guy who's wearing a sports jacket over that, that is a solid combination, even with jeans. Now, what about argyle as a pattern? Again, this is usually going to draw attention to the chest area of the sweater, and you've got these diamonds that are interacting. It's a classic pattern, and if you like it, go for it. I do think it's a little bit more of a refined older man's type of pattern, but uh, if maybe you've got some family heritage, maybe you just like the style. Again, look at the combination you're putting with. I think even when you're layering this with all different types of jackets, if you feel it brings in a bit of color, then go for it. Now, gents, if you're enjoying today's video, do me a favor and smash the like button. It lets the YouTube gods know that, hey, this video is worth watching. So Seriously, they pass it around to more people. I appreciate it. And it's a small thing you can do for the channel that helps support us. Thank you. All right. So, now some FAQs. Do you ever tuck your sweater into your jeans? And the answer right there is a definitive no. Now, what if the sweater's long? What if it's, you know, going a few inches past your waist area? Well, I find that it's better just to tuck it in and fold it up. At the bottom of most sweaters, you should have a bit of elastic. So, it's going to be a very easy, you know, turn and tuck. Next up, you may be asking, okay, I understand I can wear jeans with a sweater, but should I? Does the dress code allow this? Well, again, it depends on the dress code. Anytime that you are, you know, need to dress up with a suit, jeans with a sports jacket and sweater is not a suit combination. A suit is a jacket and trousers made from the same material. But could you wear a sweater with a suit? Yes, you can. Especially functional wise, if you needed to layer to be able to keep warm. Again, you want to keep it to a lightweight weave that isn't going to draw a whole lot of attention. If you want it more formal, if you're going to be going more casual, you can bring in a wide variety of patterns and colors. I think the jean and sweater combination is now a modern classic. Maybe 40 years ago, it wasn't. And that's why you'll still see in some text and some books out there, people saying, ah, that combination you want to avoid. But I think that it's one of my go-to looks. I live in a cold area and I like to dress somewhat casual in and around my area because nobody wears suits, nobody wears sports jackets. But for me, sweaters are a nice step up from a hoodie. And that leads to the next question, why would I wear a sweater with jeans over a hoodie and jeans. Well, straight up, it's a step up. It is a more dressier look, I think a more elegant look. I'm not saying nothing against the hoodie, but I think that sweaters and jumpers, you know, for you guys over in the UK, they are really underutilized by a lot of guys, especially if you understand the different materials they're made from, how you can go with a wide variety of styles. Most guys don't even own a turtleneck. They're not, I mean, try a mock turtleneck if you don't want to go full on turtleneck. I think it's just a great look, especially with that jean combination, dark, denim that fits you well. If you're in decent shape, easily wearing a sweater. I've got this one turtleneck that is a heavier weight, dark blue, classic Submariner sweater. And I love wearing it with dark denim and boots. Really a good combination. Next up, you may be wondering, is there anything special I need to do for the jeans? Do I need to iron them? Do I need to press them? Can I only wear dark denim with a sweater? Well, you definitely don't need to iron or press them. I know some of you cowboys do that with your jeans. You don't have to do it with uh, the dark denim, but I do really like that darker denim because for me, it's a palette. Again, you want to go with a neutral color. Be careful and you can wear 
red jeans. You can wear a wide variety of colored jeans, you know, distressed jeans with a sweater. It is going to be more fashion forward. And uh, if you're going to be pulling off that look, then what are you watching this video for? You go out there and own it. Now, what to wear over the sweater with jean? That combination, we've talked about the shoes a little bit earlier, but let's talk about sports jackets. I've mentioned this a few times. I think that if it's a, a really lightweight sweater, with dark denim. You can easily dress it up with a sports jacket, maybe even a suit jacket, a blazer jacket. You can bring in, maybe choose, instead of going with that sweat, you know, pullover sweater, you could go with a sweater jacket, but you can also keep it casual. Let's just say that, hey, this is a more casual look. You're wearing the boots with it. You can wear a leather jacket. You can wear a denim jacket. Just make sure you're not going with the same color denim. I don't know. Maybe I need to backtrack on that. What do you guys think? Can you wear a denim jacket, sweater, and jeans, even if they're close or you pull off the whole Canadian tuxedo thing, nothing against my Canadian friends, but uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of that combination. I think you got to be careful with this, but there, yeah, there are ways to pull it off. But seriously, when it comes to jackets, so many casual options out there. You can bring in a suede jacket. You can bring in a field jacket. You can bring in what safari jackets, blouse and jackets, tons of options. If you look now, what about wearing a coat? over the jean and jacket combination. Well, I think in this case, you really want to look at what type of coat you're trying to pull off. I like this combination when you leverage the sweater as the insulation and you've got a lightweight jacket. I just like the look of that combination, especially something with a different type of texture. The sweaters in general are going to have that really soft texture. So I think that a coat with more of a sheen or a tougher surface, maybe a gabardine or maybe just a straight up synthetic material versus if you go pea coats. I love love pea coats, but mixed in with that heavyweight sweater, all of a sudden you've got this soft texture with the soft texture. I, I don't like it as much. I like to have a little bit of contrast. Now, what if you want to dress the outfit up even more? You want to wear a dress shirt with your jeans. Well, guys, I've got you covered with this video right here, how to pull off a dress shirt and jeans and how to do it correctly. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, you are going to love this one. Click on it. Go check it out. It's a solid video. Boom, right there.